So we conducted the study because there is a need to identify novel risk factors for cancer. Um, so we know a lot about the association between um, people who have had cancer and their subsequent stroke risk, but we don't know a lot about um, individuals' cancer risk after stroke. So we know that um, people who have had cancer, 15% uh, 50, of them have a stroke to some, at some point during their clinical course. Um, and so we sought to look at the association in the opposite direction because we hypothesized that um, women who have had a stroke will have higher risk for cancers that have overlapping risk factors with stroke. And so, um, so that's sort of the um, reasoning behind um, that particular research question. And we looked at this question with the Women's Health Initiative data because it's an older cohort. Um, a lot of the studies that, have, um, that are existing in the United States do not follow up people um, at the age that the Women's Health Initiative data is able to do so. So we aren't, we, we aren't able to look at um, stroke outcomes among p older populations um, and with the ex existing data set. So the Women's Health Initiative is, um, is, it was, was, was used because they um, follow an older um, group of women over time and we are able to you know, have the time to cancer incidents for a, a large population of, of, of participants. Um, we also know that, um, that women, younger women compared to men, have um, protection from, um, can't, from stroke. So uh, the um, protection that women have when they're younger is, is often reduced or eliminated as women age. And so we looked at um, the Women's Health Initiative data because we, um, we know that women are at higher risk of stroke when they're older and they also have higher cancer risks as they age. And so that's why we um, examined this study with this research question in this particular data set. So we use data from the observational um, study of the Women's Health Initiative and we also included um, participants that were enrolled in the clinical trial. So we had a little over 160,000 women um, combined, combining the observational and the clinical trial um, studies. And we did have several exclusion criteria and that reduced our um, study population by about 10%. So we excluded for things like loss to follow up, um, whether or not if we didn't have race ethnicity for the women, we excluded them. Um, we excluded women who had um, baseline self-report of cancer because we were looking at new cancer um, incidents and so we had to exclude those women. So we didn't have, it was, it was probably about a little under 10% of our sample got cut, but we still had a pretty substantial um, study population to um, look at the overall sample as well as to stratify by race ethnicity um, of the sample. So we found that um, after a stroke, women overall, women have lower risk of cancer. Um, and this association was not different when we um, compared African American women to white women. So we saw the same um, magnitude of association by race ethnicity. Um, and, we, and we also found that African American women had, who had a stroke had more of certain types of cancers after their stroke and compared to, compared to non-Hispanic white women. Um, so African-American women had higher numbers of invasive breast cancer, um, lung cancer, and other cancers, and other included a whole host of other um, cancers that, weren't, that didn't have overlapping risk factors with stroke. And so um, our numbers were pretty small um, in the African-American strata of the analysis for for several of the cancers, and so I think that future studies could certainly explore um, th the reasons why African American women have more of certain types of cancers compared to white women after, after stroke incidents. So we did, we did consider um, several variables um, as potential confounders, and we identified them um, in their literature 
in, in both the literatures um, for stroke and for and for cancer. So we, we considered risk factors for both of the disease outcomes as potential confounders. So we, we included things like um, hypertension and smoking and um, body mass index, um, among other things. And, and so really, we use a 10% change in estimate criterion to identify confounders. And we didn't see um, confounders of our associations that we expected. The only thing that was a, a confounder that we adjusted for in the model was age. So um, we, we, we did, in the, in, the, in the abstract, I did present um, unadjusted models and then adjust, models adjusted for age because it was the only true confounder of the associations. But then I, I fully adjusted the model for all of the um, baseline health and demographic characteristics of the women. And the associations did not, it didn't make a difference. They weren't greatly attenuated or anything. And so I show those results just to say that the fi our findings um, do not seem to be confounded by things that we didn't account for. We still saw the same protection, um, protective association for um, cancer risk um, with women who had a stroke in unadjusted models and then models that we adjusted for a whole host of confounders. Our findings were certainly contrary to our um, study hypotheses. Um, women who have had a stroke are certainly doing something after they have a stroke that decreases their cancer risk. Um, it may be that the women are um, having more access to physician services and they are reducing, you know, some, having some lifestyle modifications that may be reducing their um, cancer risk long term, um, but that is certainly something for future studies to investigate. This this work really was um, sort of designed to generate hypotheses, and I think that we are our, our findings are so um, different from what we expected that we more work certainly needs to be done in order to kind of tease apart what is going on with these women. Is it um, screening behaviors? Is it um, lifestyle modifications, it, you know, and because we saw the same thing in the different race strata, you know, the, the race category. So it is certainly something that I have, I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on. Um, our, our, our sample size was large, we had a, a long follow-up, um, but certainly our hypothesis weren't substantiated by the data and I want to know why. The take home message that we need to stress is that more research needs to be done <laughs> to um, sort of identify um, identify why um, women have lower cancer risk post stroke and also to uh, sort of understand why African American women have higher rates of certain types of cancers compared to um, white women. Um, so, you know, we would, we would think that, you know, lung cancer, you know, uh, a risk factor for lung cancer is smoking, but not all women who have lung cancer smoke and so what is going on there why do we see these disparities why because we, we, we shouldn't there shouldn't be disparities disparities are wrong and so we should you know encourage future studies to, to understand um, what is going on with the african-american women um, our numbers were too small to explore that further but um, certainly um, more research to help us to understand better to increase our knowledge about these um, processes and the mechanisms underlying the associations that we found um, would, would, be, would be my take home.